Problem 20. In ABC triangle, a point E is on AB such that A is 1, EB is 2, point D is on AC so that D is parallel to BC, and point F is on BC so that EF is parallel to AC. What is the ratio of the area of CDEF? CDEF being, you know, this thing, this thing, um, in comparison to the ratio of ABC. So, notice here there's a bunch of similar right triangles here, and the reason why I know this is because, remember, if I have a parallel line, right, these are parallel, then this angle is equal to this angle, this angle is equal to this angle, etc. So if we have these properties, then let's say this is angle, you know, with this one tick mark. Well then, this is parallel to this, so if that were to be the case, then that means that this angle must be the same, right, because it's, uh, it's congruent angles. Now, likewise, if I were to have this to be a double tick mark, then this is also a double tick mark, but then, this, if these two angles are the same, we have angle-angle similarity, so this has to be the same as this angle. But wait a minute, if we have the larger context triangle, we also have the same two angles. So that means we also have this angle to be this angle with a tick mark. So we have three similar triangles here. But how do we find out the ratio of CDEF with ABC? Well, rewrite everything in terms of ABC. We are given side lengths. If two triangles are similar, and they have N to M, n and m side lengths, then n over m squared will give you the ratio of, the, of this triangle's area to this triangle's area. So let's apply this idea. If I were to have EFB, let's compare that to triangle ABC. So triangle EFB, right, compared to triangle EFB, so it's ACB, right, we know the side lengths here, right, EB is 2, and AB is 3. That's the entire length. So that means this triangle, right, here, I'll rewrite it, EFB, right, compared to triangle ACB, right, must give 2 over 3. Now, if we square, we get the ratio of their areas. So if we square this, that gives 4 over 9. So in other words, this is 4 over 9 of ABC. Let's call ABC, right, the area of this to be X. So that's 4, four over 9X. Now, the same could be said for ADE, right? It's 1 over 3 from this triangle compared to overall triangle because it's side length of 1 over 1 plus 2. So this squared gives 1 over 9. So that's 1 over 9x. We can't just say the same for this one, but what can we say about the area of this segment right here? Well, that segment, right, is equal to x minus 4 over 9x. Remember, x is the entire area of this thing. So we have the entire area subtract out this area right here all we're left with is this area right here. And the reason I want to do this will become clear in just a minute. That's 5 over 9x. So that means if I call this y, y plus 1 over 9x gives me the total area of 5 over 9x. So y must give 4 over 9x. Now, we are trying to find what in the question? We are trying to find the ratio of the area of CDE with ABC. Now, the area of, a, of CDEF, I assume that to be y. So what is y compared to x? Well, y compared to x, I divide x on both sides from here to get 4 over 9. So our answer must be 4 over 9, therefore your answer must be answer choice A.